today I'm going to try and show how to solo A4 on a Shaman. And on the in contrast to doing it on an Necro, this is a lot easier. The only thing that isn't easier though is splitting the twins because uh, we don't have uh, Feign Death. So this is the only bit where it can get a little bit tricky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull one with uh, Mallow, and as soon as I have Mallowed him, I'm going to use an instant click to refresh my spell gems and then root him. I'm going to target the next one, run him out into the hallway here, and then Mallow and root him, and then camp out. So you have to camp aggro, and this can be a problem. Like sometimes I crash when I when I camp aggro. Uh, sorry, when I when I camp out. And you can also be unlucky that the roots break, uh, either preventing you from camping or right after you camp, so when you get back, they have path back. But, um, yeah. So we want to get as much distance as we can. Okay, so that's right about there. Okay. Okay, so Bren is rooted. Gren is chasing me. I think I, I'm going to root him first because Mallow has too much of a cast time, but it's, it's sort of, yeah, it's less than perfect. As, uh, yeah, the roots just tend to break a lot more frequently without Mallow. But, okay, so I was, I'll say that less than 50% of the time this just works uh, flawlessly. So let's see if we get lucky. Uh, shoot. Okay. I could also be slowing him now if I, you know, wanted to play it a bit more safe. Because this hallway is a bit narrow, and it's actually like if his root breaks and then the other guy's uh, root breaks as well, then it can get out of hand, actually. That was annoying, though. That's like on five seconds. It broke. Okay. This looks like we're good. Now we just have to hope we don't crash. And we didn't. You'll have to excuse my my voice. By the way, I'm I'm a bit sick today. Okay, so we didn't crash. Looks like root or off on the wrong guy. And I don't think they're f separated by enough. Although they might be. But right, I'm going to try with a slow on Bren. Oh, no, no, no. Crap. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay, gonna try it one more time. I'm just gonna met up to full. See if Brute had worn off on the other guy first, uh, and on Gren secondly, but in this, at the same rate, then we would have been fine. It actually stuck on the, the longest, uh, like the 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 Bren root was the the longest running one, and that lasted all the way. All right, so let's just tour for ourselves. I've toyed with the idea that maybe it would be possible to just not do this nonsense and just kill one while the other one stays rooted, but I don't think so. Even if you know you slow both of them, I think having two 
potentially beating on you is just too much. But it's tempting, because like, they are really quite the pushovers. Uh, if you get them 1v1. Okay, so they actually are mallowed now, so that uh, should give us an advantage. So I'm just going to root Bren, and then I'm going to run Gren all the way out here. And gonna camp. Oh, there is a naked XR. Okay, we made it back, and Grin is still standing there. So perfect, now we have them. So, get a slow in there. I'm going to summon... Oh, okay, well. Uh, yeah, I'm still going to start by summoning my pet. Slowed, these guys shouldn't be a problem. Um, I'm just going to run, uh, run him into the room, actually, just to... I don't know. This is a pretty contested camp. I mean, pe people are generally nice about it, but I just... It's just so that no one like logs in who, who's camped out in here and just sees the room empty but one of the twins up. <laughs> this guy's saying like he he's he doesn't use the strategy. Um, okay, so I'm gonna stick a uh, Malcini on Gren. Strictly speaking, you don't have to. Uh, because they don't resist a lot, even though he just resisted, uh, Malassini. Okay. Um, and then I just got to find the correct time to sit down and memorize Pox of Bertoxilux. Solus. And from here on, it's just very simply, uh... Uh, just dotting it down, face tanking it. Like with this stuff, you kind of want to watch your slow timers, but not on the twins necessarily. I usually you can uh, you can be certain that that they'll be fleeing by the time that uh, your slow is about to wear off. Um. Okay, so. So what I will do now is cast Insidious Decay, just because it's not very expensive, it's unresistible, and it makes for a, a higher chance that Pox will land. And Pox will most most of the time land on the twins. It's a different story on 22, but we'll get to that. So yeah, other than that, it's just about managing your, your mana. Um, very basic... Uh, torpor shaman solo stuff like my s soft spot is around 40% on the twins I want to be at no lower than 40% uh, before I start casting torpor uh, I mean if you're lower as you can see I am right now it's not a, the biggest deal in the world but you never know when you just get like when they, they get a lucky uh, few shots in on you and like and interrupt you a couple of times in a row. If you're an ogre, then disregard that, of course. And finally, oops, epic is worn off. 
finally, uh, I, I like to toss in a, a JBB click um, every now and again. But yeah, I'm sure um, those that watch this probably know, but just to, to reiterate that uh, the, 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 the linchpin thing for this to work is torpor. Um, and I guess cannibalize four, but uh, if you don't have torpor, then you you, you can't you, you, your your mana pool can't sustain having to heal yourself with chloroplast. Oops, I'm getting low on life here. Yapping away. Um, so other than that, like gear wise, having epic is obviously really nice, and I don't think. I would I don't think it would be possible to do 22 without epic. It might be, but it would be really hard. Um so torpor and epic. But then I guess the other spells are important as well like mallow is is pretty key. Um at, at least you know again for 22. Um so having that as well. But gear wise though you can get by on not that swell gear. I mean, I don't have uh, very good gear, as you can tell by my uh, hit points and, AC, uh, and mana. Uh, it's not terrible, but it's definitely like this is an alt, and I'm not. Uh, I, I haven't sort of powered towards getting a lot of sweet gear on on him. So yeah, a, a guildie of mine once said, you know, a shaman. Uh, a torpor shaman with banded armor can uh, can solo pretty well. So okay, and Pox is worn off. But as you can see, once you have the single compared to uh, the video I did soloing these uh, uh, on my necromancer, this is like incredibly relaxing and easy. I think I'm just going to reapply slow just because I've taken a bit longer than I normally would with the split here and, and all that. Uh, getting, not with the split, but like recovering from the split, summoning the pet, not having that initial DPS. So yeah, um, once you have them single, it's smooth sailing, pretty much. Now he'll run at 20%. Sometimes... It seems like if there is another mob close by, and I don't know if this constitutes close enough by, that uh, they won't run. But um, yeah, we'll see. And if they do run, then I'm going to have to uh, uh, root him because I don't want to pull aggro on, on his brother. So yeah, basically, uh, three classes can comfortably solo a four and that shaman enchanter and druid and then you have the working class hero of the necromancer that can uh by hook and by crook get the the twins down but we'll have to surrender to the to the might of 22. so let's call it three and a half classes um and it's a very it's 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 both a blessing and a curse this this camp it's very contested um so it's hard to get and once you have it it's like it's perfect if you're not doing anything oh sorry if you are doing stuff uh, outside of the game because everything in plane of mischief is um a 72 minute respawn i'm sorry if i'm if i'm repeating myself from the other video but i'm not necessarily operating under the assumption that people watching this will have watched the other video um so yeah, 72 minute respawn time. And that just means that um, like you can kill the this guy, and you can kill the other guy, and then you can kill 22, and then you'll have like about 45 minutes until uh, the twins spawn. And uh, that's, I think that's pretty nice. Uh, you basically spend like maybe half an hour killing stuff, and then you spend... Uh, about 45 50 minutes uh, just you can you know uh, if, if you're able to work or do chores around the house or whatever but it's also like 
if I ever log in here and it's open, I feel like I have to take it almost because it's very lucrative. It's uh, there's a reason it's very contested. The the drops in here, are, even though they're far and few and far between, are just like really sought after and worth a lot. And if you actually sat down and wanted to play EQ and have a lot of fun and have some adventure, then having to sit and just stare into the air. Uh, for 45 50 minutes it's not actually that that great of a deal oops i think we can wait a minute with rooting him again actually he's sort of strafing into the room Cool. And then what I do once I have killed one is I immediately note it on my note document. So we say Gren, he died at 1420. He will respawn at 1531 approximately. Let's see if we got lucky. We did not. All right, so splits done. Rest should be somewhat manageable. Um, so I'm just going to mid up here, canny up. And I'm going to haste my pet. And then I'm going to kill Bren. But I think I'm actually not going to record that because it will just be more of the same. And then I'm going to kill 22 and I'll record that. <laughs> 